What's up friends and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to complete the Jedi Super Puzzle known as Tubbles Puzzle. And if this video helps you out, consider liking and subscribing. But yeah, let's get right into it. So first things first, what you're going to want to do is meditate for two minutes straight. Um, and it doesn't matter where on the map you do this. I recommend doing it in a force field though so you don't get hit and have it start over. But if you get teleported to the correct game, that's good. But if you get teleported to the character selection screen, then make sure that you leave that and meditate again for two minutes and it should teleport you to the right spot. Okay, so you're gonna wanna follow exactly where I go. Um, I'm heading right and then I'm going between these two rocks. Um, and then I'm gonna head this way, turn left and then turn right. And then hold right against the wall. And continue holding right, go through here, go through here and boom. So you have to interact with this first. Um, now to get out of here, it's a little tricky. Um, pretty much just follow everywhere I go. Um, you can slow this down if you need. It's a really tricky maze. I got stuck here a tad bit. I went the wrong way, but it's okay. You can just go and see like the right path through the wall here. So then proceed to that. And we're gonna go through, uh, we're gonna go right through this corridor here on the left, here we go. We're right through here. Um, then we're gonna head this way and we're gonna keep looking around for this ledge. This ledge here is what you're gonna need. Um, and you wanna go this way on the ledge when you find it. And there'll be two openings, take the right one and then turn left. And then you'll see two more openings, turn take the right one again and boom, you're out of there. So now we're gonna need to get all the crystals and then also interact with a second wind generator thing. So I'm gonna hop up here and this is where you turn off this thing. Now for the, I'm gonna call this the first crystal. You can take this tree root or you can go all the way up the other way, but I'm gonna take this tree root just quickly so I don't have to push the ball yet. So you're gonna jump on this tree here. Um, if there is one, I'm not sure if the trees are different. Um, and you're gonna go over here and you're gonna wait for your force jump to come back and you're gonna use a force jump and a double jump and then a roll to get up to here. And then you can just use a double jump and roll or whatever. And this is the first crystal is what I'm going to call it. Now we're going to go all the way back down. And now we have to push this ball onto this area here. There's a little plate here. So we're going to go right up to it. I recommend kind of spam jumping and then rolling whenever you can because it actually just pushes it a lot more. It propels your momentum into it a lot more. Um, Sorry, it's currently raining in my house, so if you hear any thunder in my mic, I don't feel like re-recording this. Anyways, push the boulder onto here, slowly but surely, and then walk up to this wall here and it will open. You can press E to interact, then you're going to hop onto the rock or onto the big ball. Sometimes the ball will stay on top of the platform, sometimes it won't. Doesn't really matter though. Now what you see over there is what I'm going to call Crystal 3 down there. Um, first, we're going to just jump up here. I'm going to call this one Crystal 2. Um, we're going to hit Crystal 2. We're going to go back down to Crystal 3. I should have hit Crystal, that one right there, after I did the first one, but I kind of forgot and went out of order. So we'll just call it Crystal 3. Anyways, we're going to go back in here and wait for the platform to come all the way down and make a clicking noise so that we can press E again. Um, it's going to take a second. Okay, perfect. It made the noise, so we can press E again. And we're going to hop on again. And like I said, sometimes the ball decides to stay on top of the platform, and sometimes it doesn't. Anyways, this is where the parkour part is going to come in um, and get a little bit difficult. So first, we're just going to hop up onto the ledge where we hit the first crystal. Um, and then we're going to head over here. Now the next fourth crystal here is going to be right here. Then we're gonna force jump and double jump up to this ledge and right around the corner uh the next corner sorry is crystal number five now this like i said is where it's gonna get tricky you're gonna want to double jump and just land right here wait for that to cool down you're gonna want to double jump and then force jump to make sure that you get on this platform now don't worry about landing on the crystal you can hit it from up here it's really weird now we're gonna do one double jump to get to here and then we're going to do one double jump to get to here. You can use a force jump on that one if you want to ensure that you land on it, but you don't have to. 
and then I'm gonna use a double jump and a force jump to get up to here. Now here's the hardest part of it, I would say. I'm going to double jump onto this crystal. So, boop, there we go. That's probably the hardest jump there is because the rest of it's pretty easy. So right here, you don't even have to jump on that crystal over there. Now you gotta get this one up here. I messed that up. Here we go, I got on top of it. Um, now we're gonna get this one right here. There's one hidden back here, don't forget that one. There's one right here, there's one right here, and then finally the last one in this little spot is here. You don't have to worry about anything over there, there's nothing over there. Now before you jump down, make sure you hit this last one at the very end. Then you're gonna jump down and hit this one right here. Now you can do a little double jump, get this crystal. Now I've lost track of the numbers, it won't really matter though too much. We're gonna get that one. And now there's no more crystals on this lower part, so you're just gonna wanna double jump and then use a force jump to get up to here. And now you need to have train fall for this. This is the part you need it for, is you're gonna drop all the way down here. You can try and space it so you don't lose as much health as I did, but there's a crystal right here and a crystal right here. Now people, some people will say that you need to jump on that platform right there, but I completely avoid that because you have enough momentum to get across the entire gorge. So I'm gonna double jump force jump and then roll onto this next crystal that way you don't have to do any more platforming now you're gonna hit this one and then there's a few more up in this chamber up here like as you're trying to ascend um, but not too many get this one I'm gonna force jump up here Hit this one and this chamber door should open if you hit all the crystals if not I advise looking back again and making sure you got all of them this platform is gonna take you up just make sure that you get off of it at the right time. Like right here, when you see the, the resonate thing, you're gonna hop off or it can squish you. And then yeah, just resonate. And now boom, you're capable of becoming a super Jedi. Now again, this doesn't mean that you are a super Jedi yet. Now you have to get to level 18 and have a thousand credits and talk to the super Jedi trainer who is inside of the Jedi temple. And he will give you your first skill, which is saber throw. Now, again, you're going to talk to him, and every time that you have enough requirements to fill the next skill, you're going to bring a thousand credits, and you're going to have to have the right karma. I'm going to show the skills now. So the first skill, as I said earlier, is Saber Throw. Uh, you use it with R, and it costs 120 karma and level 18. And again, you're going to talk to the trainer whenever you need a new skill. Next up is Mercy. Uh, it's an X move. It's a heavy attack. Um, it's good for just doing a lot of damage and also stunning people. Um, it's 150 karma and level 22. The next one is Judgment. It is a C move and it's supposed to make your lightsaber turn like a yellow hue. Um, and it's going to be uh, slowing people down uh, every hit you do. Um, so it's pretty good, but it's also broken at the moment, I believe, except with certain sabers, like the Bumble Saber. But yeah, it's 200 Karma and level 25. If they ever fix it, hopefully they fix it. Next up is the same as the Sith one. It's a passive larger block. It's 250 Karma and level 28. Just lets you absorb more hits. And then finally, Parry Kick is a Z move on Jedi is what it says. Um, after a successful parry, you use it for an extra stun and damage. Um, it's 300 karma and level 33. That is also broken, I believe, but whenever they fix it, hopefully it's good. Okay, so yeah, that's about it for how to complete the Jedi trial and become a super Jedi. Um, these are all the skills involved, and uh, yeah, be sure to comment down below what you want me to do next, and I'll try and get around to it as soon as possible. Also, consider liking and subscribing. Helps me a ton, and uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.